So, Novacut 1305, which will be released uh, this Thursday, May 30th, is an exciting release because we're switching over to the final um, version one hashing protocol and database schema, which is a big exciting step. But the one downside is this one time and one time only, you will have to manually run a command to upgrade your existing version zero library um, to version one, uh, if you have one. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. So the first time you run DMedia or Novacut, after you upgrade, doesn't matter which, you will see the uh, new account set up again. Um, it wasn't possible to migrate the SSL certificates, so you do have to repair your devices, but that's pretty easy and also pretty cool, so I think that's fine. Uh, so this is the first um, computer you've run this on. You'd click new account, uh, or run this on with 1305. If not, click, click connect to devices and pair it with your existing device. Uh, so I'm gonna click new account. There's the usual, and you'll see, oh no, where's all my DMedia projects? Or if you open Novacut, oh no, where's all my edits? So they actually are there still. Um, you just have to run this upgrade command. So it's command line, I'm sorry, one time only. Um, so open a terminal and then you need to run novacut v 0 v one upgrade Oops. upgrade. And you'll see all these DMedia file IDs flying by. This step can take a while depending on how big your library is, but one good thing is, you know, if you're doing this and like, oh, I don't have time for this, um, if you cancel it, you can resume it again and it will pick up where you left off. So that's good. So yeah, that'll do stuff for a while. Um, in the future, any, you know, we, we will have new versions of the protocol eventually. It might be a very long time, 10 years, uh, hopefully. But in the future, this kind of migration like this won't be necessary. And for anyone who wants gory details, the reason we had to do this is we switched from standard base 32 encoding to this dbase32 encoding I developed. Um, if you want to learn more about it, go to entrepad.net slash dbase32. There's some nice documentation. There's a, a very detailed rationale for why it's designed the way it is and what problem we were solving with it. So if you want to know, it's there. It's still doing stuff. Um, so what this is doing is it verifies all your files according to the version zero protocol while rehashing them according to version one so you know uh, you know what the new ID is. And do some more stuff. It's almost there. And then you'll see um, it'll migrate your databases. So for anyone who knows a bit about how the internals work, um, you know, previously, ah, see some projects just appeared. Um, previously the databases were dmedia-0, novacut-0, and so on. Uh, you can see that, that here. And the new ones all end in dash one. So the migration leaves your, your old databases in place, untouched. Uh, so something goes wrong, it's, you know, it's, it tries to be very careful about preserving your data. Um, I know the user experience of this is crappy, but we're working from the assumption that not many people have DMD libraries that they care about. Um, because we've, you know, constantly advised people to be very cautious about DMD at this point. Uh, tells production ready, but, you know, so I didn't put a ton of effort into this, but if anyone out there has data, you're having problems getting it migrated, just let us know, um, and we'll make sure to you know, get things taken care of. So now that that's done running, you'll see that your Novacut projects are there. Hooray. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, and I guess the, the one last thing is, so even though 
we have switched over to the final protocol, final schema. Um, I still don't consider D-Media production ready. I think we need one more month just to really be solid about that. Um, however, we'd love lots of testing at this point. Um, you know, just use the usual caution. You know, please don't put data into media that you don't have backed up elsewhere. But as of this release, all of the D-Media behaviors are turned on and um, pretty well tuned, I think. Uh, you know, they always use more tuning, but uh, it's very exciting and I think people will start to, to really see just what uh, the media is all about and how an application like NovaCut can um, be pretty magical because of it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.